Hello, family and friends. This is the old Chrome Dances. Set my timer. Got a couple small things for you. Uh, wanted to go back on this item. This uh, It's Elite 99. And it's I showed this yesterday. It's the Magnetic Nail Gel Polish Soak Off. And, um, of course, I saved this pamphlet. I can't read it. I'll have to have one of my kids kind of give me a rundown. But they did get it open. So, because I couldn't hold it up to try it. It's in Clem Clematis Blue. So that I could give you an idea of the color mm -hmm. of it. That pretty. I hope you guys are kind of picking this up a little bit. Yeah, it's in clematis blue. To me, it looked like a sapphire blue. And it is magnetic. Um, they did not send, though. I guess they don't send that little thing out. You have to buy that separate. So it's like, whoa, okay. So I'll have to order me a couple of them little, you know, do winky thing and the jiggers to turn it into magnetic. But it's such a pretty color. And I was a little bit off on the price. That was an eBay item auction, and it was a dollar fifty-one. So just kind of a little more clarification on that product. Uh, I got this from eBay, and this was fifty cents. And it's a uh, wheel of. Uh, let me get this plastic off of here. I like these because these are big enough because of my vision that I can see these. I know I ordered some uh, <coughs> other ones. I'm sure that they're going to be quite small and hopefully I can work with them with luck. And I don't know if you can see these too well, well enough, but they're way big stones. You know, they're, uh, they're really good sized stones in there. Now see, I can definitely see this, and I can see this to work on, you know, because of the size. You don't get too many, and I understand that, but I can at least see them and see what I'm doing with them. And then I suppose I won a few auctions that had, like, large mounts, and I'm sure they're little. They're very pretty, but I'm sure they're going to be very, very tiny. But this was 50 cents. So I thought that was pretty good for this. So I got that. And that is all I have from um, eBay, actually. These were the two things that came. No, one more thing. This other, because um, that was a repeat item. The other bra strap, the clear invisible bra strap came today. And this one also, I couldn't tell which person was because I had won two of them. So it was either 30 cents or 80 cents. I don't know. So I paid 30 cents for one and 80 cents for the other and thought they were both a good deal. And now I have two. Uh, so I got another, another set of these uh, clear uh, bra straps because I'm hoping to find some. Um, as much as I love my Moo Moo's. And this, yeah, I told you what the price was. Okay. Um, I'm hoping to get some strapless ones maybe in for next summer. And, uh, or those, um, another thing I'd like to do is get some of those Razorbacks. And I've got the little thing I got from Dollar Tree that you can bring your straps in. You know, um, I just thought maybe they'd be used to get some little capris or something um, for next summer. So, at any rate, um, uh, that's, uh, are you locked out? I'm sorry, I thought a family member had just locked themselves out the house. At any rate, that's my uh, little eBay uh, mess that I got from eBay. So, it wasn't too much. Uh, I have a Oh, I went completely off my rocker, I tell ya. I just need to stay off of eBay. I went on there the other night, and I went eBay shopping crazy. 
And now I'm actually hoping I lose some of the auctions. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I got touched. I got hung up in the moment, and it's like, oh, that's a good deal. Click, and uh, it's like, well, I've paid for almost all of it. I'm just waiting for the rest of them to see if I win them. But uh, it's like... I've got to stay off of that. That is very, uh, I am going to have a lot of nail art stuff to show you guys. That's all I can tell you. Almost everything is for the nails. Nails, 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 nails. So, it is going to be a lot of fun. And I've got excellent buys on them. But it does add up, like, to ching to ching to ching And it's like, oh, you know, not cool. Not cool at all. So... But uh, I, I think most of that stuff's coming from China. It's taking forever. I did go to Walmart. I only got a few little things. Um, I got uh, this big pack, 18 count of uh, the 100% cotton. They're all white, which is what I wanted. Um, washcloths, face, face cloths to wash your face. Um, um, because I cannot stand... I picked up microfibers sometime back from Dollar Tree. I can't stand them. I'm throwing them all out. Every time you wash them, they get those little nubs all over them. If you wash them with something like another terry towel or... I don't know, but they just... And it's like... Oh my gosh, I can't stand those dang cloths. And I can't see well enough. And plus, I'm not taking the time to pick all those fuzz balls or whatever it is when you wash them off no they're going to the garbage every single one of them uh so i decided okay well i'm sticking with my 100 percent cotton and i just stuck with the white you know pure and simple uh and i should have enough washcloths to last me i would say the good portion of the rest of my life so uh, because I'm only going to probably drag out like maybe four at a time. So I even tried to ask a couple of people if they used worse cloths if they wanted a few. And they said they don't. So it's like, well, okay, then you know, I'll drag out so many and then I'll put the rest up. And then when these get raggedy, I'll go get so many more. And yeah, I think I'm pretty good. But it was only 374, I think, for 370 sets. 379. Oh my God. It was 370 something for this huge bag bundle of AT cal of washcloths. So I thought that was an excellent purchase. So now I have new wash rags. Uh, and then I did find somewhere in here they had, and it was not India Spice Market. It's turkey spice market. They did have it. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. and No, I can't edit that out because I don't know how to edit. I don't have editing. It is live. It is what it is. Okay, anyway, this is from Set Sensationals. It was $2. And it's the turkey spice market. Let you see all that. And it's wonderful. I mean, the scent is, um, I know Amber Honey Raven hauled the, all of these. And, oh my gosh, it's it's a beautiful set. I'll have to burn one. Now, I've burned the Ebony Woods. And I'm going to go back and get probably about three more packs when I can afford it. It's just that I had messed myself up on eBay so much that. Yeah, I'm really disappointed in my own self, to tell you the truth, because I was supposed to be getting my haunted dolls, and or at least a couple of them, and I don't even know if I can pull that one off. I'll see. I'm going to try and get one, but I really cut myself short, and uh, that is a big ow, ow, ow. But, you know, it's really not like I spent more than probably... Let's so see, the first payment I made was 17, no, it was 16 something. Then the second payment I sent them was 19 something. And now I've got a payment of 22 somethings. 
but that's over the last couple of months, I guess. Yeah, over the last couple of months, so maybe not as bad as it sounds. Still, for me, not good. And uh, I am disappointed in myself because, you know, I really want my dollies. I really want my dollies. Um, but I paid what I had to do. I had to pay my bills. And then I had borrowed a little money from people, so I had paid paid them back, and except for one person, my youngest son. Um, uh, and then, uh, you know, um, I mean, I was, just had very little left, so, and I shouldn't have wet so bazookers, but I don't know what was wrong with me that night. I couldn't sleep. I was up, and, oh, well, at any rate, you know, long story short, that's all that, so, um, Yep. Oh, well, I am going to dearly enjoy everything I, I've got and anything I continue to win, although I seem to be getting outbid quite a bit. It's like, outbid me, outbid me, it's for right now. So, but I did find this, and this I was totally shocked when I found this at Walmart. I was totally shocked. This was at Walmart for five bucks. I was wanting one of these when I was looking for my coffin uh, incense burner. It's a stand-up tower incense burner. And I couldn't find them for under 40 bucks. You know, like 30, 40, uh, 5 bucks. Let me tell you guys right now, $5. Okay? So if you have been looking for the tower, the wooden tower incense box that comes with a package of incense, um, Now's the time to get to Walmart and get yours because there is no way you're going to find, I don't think, a cheaper price. I mean, I had seriously looked and I didn't even get my coffin one for this cheap. And I was amazed. It's like, are you serious? They've got the wooden tower incense burners? Five bucks. Now, this is an incredible deal. This is an incredible incredible price for this piece. So I would say get out tomorrow to your Walmart and get your tower box because get this for $5 is an amazing price. Because like I say, I could not find them for under $40 and that was anywhere I shopped online. So, um, I mean, if you found them for that or cheaper than 5 good for you. But this, to me, is an amazing, amazing bargain. And if it's something you've been pondering, get to Walmart and get them before they're gone. Because for five bucks, and it's beautiful. It's got a beautiful Etz design in it. It's got beautiful staining. They were all like, they were all the same pattern, but just gorgeous. And another, another thing that I did see that they had up there at Walmart that I didn't get because just because... Uh, my finances, they also have the long box that's lidded, that opens. It's not a coffin, but it's soapstone. And I believe, oh, don't quote me, but I'm going to say they were anywhere from $2 to $5. I think it was under 5 though, so closer to the $2. But it was, um, it was, uh, very beautiful, very heavy soapstone. It's like the box, it's not a coffin box, and it lidless up, and they were very, very cheap. And they are real soapstone because they're so weighty, and you can just feel, you know, by touching it, you know it. If you know what soapstone is, you know what it feels like. But I just decided, no, I better wait, because I, I wanted to try this uh, sent out and I needed the worst claws and I seen this and this was definitely coming home with me so um, if you're also looking for the soapstone ones they have them too and um, I don't know maybe at another time I might pick it up if I'm able but this was definitely going home with me so and that was all I got just the, th the three pieces but I just had to show this because I thought this was the bargain of the year for me, you know, because I know what these things run. 
and to get it for five dollars was an absolutely amazing price so um just want to let you guys know that you know get out there and get your burner if you've been wanting one of those and didn't want to pay the, out exaggerated prices that they have on these for some reason i don't know why but um yeah i just wanted to pass that along and i also just thought i'd let you know about the soapstone ones that are out there too so that is my haul that's all i've got um uh, as i say uh, my comments must be down because I have not gotten any comments in probably the last 20 videos. Uh, which is unusual that I don't get any. Um, I There must be something wrong and I don't know how to fix it. Uh, and I, I really am unhappy with that because I love when you guys comment. And I love, you know, being able to, to respond back to you even if... If I'm busy and it's just a thank you or something, you know, I always respond. I, I try to always. I don't think I ever not respond. And uh, I do miss your comments a lot. But it, there must be absolutely something wrong with uh, with uh, with it on YouTube. And I don't know how to fix I'm not technical. Um, and it's really a bummer and I don't know what to do about it. I'm not even sure how to contact YouTube uh, to see if they can go in and check, you know, and see if there's a problem or what. But at any rate, it is what it is, I guess. But I do very much so miss the comments. So uh, if you've tried to leave a bit more uneventful, I do thank you that uh, and I hope to maybe if they can fix it or something because I so much enjoy everybody of what you guys got to say so because I've gotten I've learned a lot from advice you guys have given me on um, different things and um, and that and it's I mean I appreciate it so much so uh, and yeah this is just a really big bummer that my comments must not be working uh, and, uh, I'm not so happy with that because I miss that. I miss, miss even sometimes, you know, com conversing with you guys, you know, not a lot of anybody really held conversations with me, but, uh, still what little bit there was, I truly enjoyed. So, um, anyway, that's my haul. I'm going to shut the heck up and we'll talk to you guys later.